As I've said, there's nothing quite like music and singing to raise your spirits, whoever you are. Now, children who've had their lives turned upside down by the COVID pandemic have been invited to join in a countywide singing project which starts next week. It's called Jump Up, Join In, and it's organised by the Lancashire Music Service, who've done similar projects in the past to get people singing. Let's chat to Emma Williams, who's one of the tutors involved in Jump Up, Join In. Uh, so we just um, just let us know what the idea is all about, Emma. Yeah, of course. So I'm a singing leader for Lancashire Music Service, and obviously we've been hugely frustrated with all of the restrictions, not being able to get out into our schools and meet our young people. I mean, back in the summer, we had a go at a little virtual Big Sing on our YouTube channel, and we thought, how can we kind of develop this idea? So starting next week, there will be a short morning session on our YouTube channel called Jump Up and Join In, and the idea is to get young people probably primary age but we're hoping that the joy might spread to some children who are a little bit older even with their families at home or in school for them to have a bit of a sing spend 10 or 15 minutes with myself and another singing leader called Tim Offendell um, and just spend 15 minutes of joy releasing those endorphins and feeling good about singing. Do you know, I just think this is a brilliant idea because one of the my little indicators about whether my son's happy is when I catch him singing. He doesn't sing very loudly, but he's definitely singing. He likes to whistle. And I think that's just a little barometer, a little measurement, I think, of just how contented he is in the moment. I mean, yeah, absolutely. And I think I think for a lot of people, a lot of people were fed that message at school, you know, maybe don't sing or maybe go to the back row of the choir or those kind of negative messages are reinforced in people that they can't sing and really I think everybody is capable of singing and the joy that it releases particularly in young people I think if they can be spread that message from a very young age that they can engage with singing in any way that they feel comfortable and this is not about being brilliant singers this is about this is as much about using your body and looking at posture and breath as it is about just making a really great sound and I like what you were saying about singing um, Life on Mars at the uh, traffic lights this morning I, I, th- I think I have been known to burst into Coke Cabana can't help Barry myself. Marlo sometimes at the traffic lights, you know. I can't help myself. Sometimes it just takes me there, and I was I was very very out of tune. I thought, oh, is it is it me or David Bowie here? Um, it was me that was out of tune. However, it just I don't know. It just I just think it works. You've got quite a, quite a pedigree in doing this stuff. Now you've done you have done stuff online before, haven't you? How does how does this project compare then? Yeah, so at the beginning of lockdown, one of the things that the music service wanted to do was to develop their online presence and create a YouTube channel that was populated with all kinds of videos um, where people could see examples of young people in online music making. They could engage with tutorial videos. There'd be fun musical activities. And all of that stuff is still there on the Lancashire Music Service YouTube channel. And back in the summer, we created this virtual big thing where we over a period of a week, myself and Tim Offendale guided children through a series of warm-ups and learning five songs. And it was really, really well attended and watched. The videos had thousands of views. Wow. And we thought, we need to recreate this. So this is slightly different in that the idea is it's a self-contained session of 10 to 15 minutes that a teacher in a classroom can put on and join in with the kids or parents at home if they want to occupy their kids for 10 or 15 minutes of music making. Each video will go, will be premiered at 10 a.m. every Wednesday starting next week. Um, and then, of course, the video will be available at any time during the day that people want to access it. And for these sessions, we thought we'd a slightly more holistic approach, really. So part of the session is about working on a song or learning a rhythm game or perfecting a technique. But either side of that, there is a fun warm-up, which is as much about breathing and posture and getting the body working. And then right at the end of the session, we take the young people through some concentration exercises, um, focusing exercises, a moment of centering where they can focus on their breath and get ready for whatever it is they're going to do with the rest of their day. They hopefully feel focused and ready for it. Hopefully the whole family can join in. Do you know, I was just going to say, I I just think that's just a a brilliant idea, particularly when, you know, uh, children's mental health, there's no two ways about it, in my opinion. It has to have been impacted by what's going on. And just being present and focused is just, because that's one of the things I struggle with with homeschooling is keeping them like focused because there's so many Mm. things that can stimulate when you're at home or just trying to get them onto task so I love this idea of of getting them you know focused and and, absolutely yeah and although it's on screen I mean I know people are a bit kind of concerned about the amount of screen time their young people are having 
this is different because you can put it on a screen, but you've got to be up. You've got to be moving about, hence it being called jump up and join in. Um, <laughs> so hopefully it's going to get people moving. Um, and no, it is a difficult time. And I think uh, we hope this is as much about social connection as anything. We hope that parents can join in with their kids and that for teachers, rather than being another session that they've got to lead, they can relax with the kids and enjoy it and let Tim and I lead it from the screen. Um, oh. That's what we hope anyway. That tell you something, that's music to my ears, Emma. <laughs> he gets set from my, I'm not, I'm not criticising what the school do, they do brilliantly, but he gets PE every day. And what I've discovered is if I don't do the PE session with him, right, he's not doing mm. it. Yeah. So I've done Joe Wicks, I've done Cosmic Yoga, I do another silly, well, it's not silly actually, it's actually quite good. It's like a jump, it's another jumping around, it's counting, it does a lot of counting and all this yeah. stuff. But... To be fair, it's quite a lot of fun once you get into it a bit. Where can people find you then if they want to have a go with their little ones? Like you say, the videos come out 10 o'clock every Wednesday, but how do they, how do, for, for the people that aren't aficionados on YouTube, how do we find you? Okay. So if you log on to YouTube and just type Lancashire Music Service into okay. your, the search bar at the top, it will take you to the Lancashire Music Service channel. And all you need to do there is subscribe. And then you'll receive notifications when these videos go live. Nice. Um, the other thing that you can do is obviously that we have loads of information on Facebook and on Twitter. But also our website has all the information as well, which is lancashiremusichub.co.uk. Um, and all the singing information is on there. Um, but like I say, on the YouTube channel, there's loads of stuff to do. If your children are learning um, in, or have been learning instruments in schools and want to have a go at some more techniques, say for brass instruments or woodwind, there's lots of stuff on YouTube for that as well. Um, so hopefully lots of things to do. Absolutely. Oh, Emma, it's been really lovely to talk to you Thanks. and um, good luck with it. I'm definitely going to come and have a nosy. I want to see what I want to see what you look like, obviously, Emma, because I'm nosy <laughs> like that. Uh, but I just think it's a it's a brilliant idea. And let me tell you, as someone who is not that excited about going into what are we on week seven of homeschooling? Mm. Anything that's just a bit different that catches his attention. I'll be well up for uh, for trying. So uh, absolutely. Best of luck with it. That was Emma Williams, who's a music tutor with Lancashire Music Service. And as she said, jump up, join in. Their first video goes live next Wednesday. Sounds good, doesn't it? I think my little boy would be well up for that. Not only if I was doing it, though. Obviously, he won't just have a go on it without me. Uh, anyway, uh, if you want more details, as she said, head over to YouTube and just type in Lancashire Music Service and you'll find it. Cost now either. Cost now either.